is a magic show, so for the next hour, let your disbelief disappear. Saw your worries in half. Pull a snack out of your hat and say hello to the ambassadors of Abracadabra, Penn and Teller. <laughs> If Penn and Teller get fooled, the magician who pulled off that trick wins a spot performing in Penn and Teller's legendary Las Vegas show. With that in mind, let's meet our first potential fooler. My name is Danny Cole. I'm from Beverly Hills, California. I actually fell in love with magic because my grandparents took me to see Siegfried and Roy. I got accepted into the junior program at the Magic Castle in Hollywood when I was 13 years old. That was a dream. They would let the young magicians perform a regular week at the castle. The tricks that got the most notice were the ones that I had created. So I felt encouragement to continue doing original stuff. I try to use objects that audiences can relate to. The trick that I'm doing on Fool Us is an original piece. So I'm hoping that it can surprise them and fool them. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, and it's a real honor and a thrill to be performing for two of my magic idols. So I did get a new jacket for tonight, a new necktie for the special occasion. <laughs> Sorry, one second, one second. All right, there we go. Now we're ready for magic. <laughs> So I thought I would do a little magic with these. You may recognize these uh, from when you were kids. You can take a look, they're wooden blocks, solid wood. Nothing uh, strange about them, right? Solid wood, look no, good. No, All right, funny. perfect, great. Now, what I used to love about playing with blocks like these as a kid was that if I just added some imagination, I could really just about build anything. So today, I'm going to try to build something for you. Something magical, of course. I'm gonna get really comfortable. So we need those blocks. We'll get everything all set up. Okay. Now, I should tell you that I truly believe in the impossible. And what I'm hoping is that tonight, after I'm done with this little uh, construction project that I got going on for you, if you don't already, you too, without a doubt, will also believe in the impossible. All right, here we go. This may seem impossible, but it's really happening. And I should tell you that it's not a trick. And it's not an illusion. It's actually real magic. as a kid.
<laughs> but what's amazing is I didn't start playing with these till I was like already over 30. So <laughs> okay. Yeah. So where did you get this idea at 30 to play with blocks? Well, I was uh, at home playing around with different magic ideas, and I set up a camera and I started playing with this trick. And like I was like, oh, this is like maybe something. But uh, I put it up on YouTube and like it got some views. I mean, not like a crazy amount of views, but people seem to respond to it. And so it kind of got me thinking like, oh, maybe I should develop this into an actual trick. So it took three years for me to take it from the floor of my apartment to the stage. But yeah, here it is. So do you think that these guys are going to figure it out? Well, they are obviously very gifted and smart magicians. But maybe they haven't seen anything like this before since it's from my crazy mind. So, yeah. you know, it's, uh, we'll have to see. Okay. All right. Well, let's check in with these guys, right. shall we? Penn, tell her. Uh, one of the rarer things than fooling us is showing us something that we haven't seen anything like. This doesn't look like any magic trick uh, we've ever seen before. Uh, it doesn't look like you got in the magic shop and you didn't. Uh, this really looks like something different. Also, the effect and the whole way it's laid out is very different than we've seen. It really is, it really is new, original, and your presentation did not have a lot of jive and garbage. It was just simple, straightforward, sweet, and beautiful. And um, we don't know if we know how this is done. We really don't. <laughs> we've got, we know very few ways to do uh, levitations. There are just very few ways that we know of. And uh, the first thing you might think of is some sort of, um, uh, to make them float. You think about magnets, but magnet stuff has to be spinning, you know? We'd also think that maybe it was attached to you, but it would be wiggling in some way, you know? This is really secure and really steady. And um, the one kind of um, thread of an idea we had was that, uh, was that the theater is so well lit you know, it's so well lit. There's uh, 50,000 watts of power going faster miles an hour, and you have those two little desk lamps, and that gave us a little bit of a hint. And if you have some idea we're talking about, then you didn't fool us. And if you don't have some idea we're talking about, then you did fool us, and we are thrilled to little pieces because we love this act, whether it fooled us or not. I believe... I did try maybe what you're suggesting, and it didn't work for me. And so I had to come up with something else. So I think it isn't what they said. So you fooled them. Is that true? Is that true? <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, it's such an honor. Can they keep the rest? Find out when we come back.